Hello there, welcome to Hashtag Friday Sews. Another manic week in the sewing room at, because I had to make a very quick party dress for my daughter for Friday today. Um, used New Look 6301, which I've made for her before. I think it's going to be okay, but yeah, another manic week. Hello, my name's Carol, this is my channel, So Carol, and this was the week that it was, Mum, help, I need a dress. So this pattern came to the rescue. So my daughter buys a lot of clothing of Vinted, which is like a second-hand online shop. This dress uh, that she got at the weekend, she was really hoping it would be the right size and everything, because it was meant to be. When she actually received it, I think what's happened, it was like a velvety dress and I think the person had shrunk it. So what was going to be a dress on my daughter turned out to be a top. Um, yeah, basically a top, which is not what she wanted at all. So she asked me at the weekend, please, can you make up a dress? Now, I didn't have any fabric, so it had meant ordering online. I did. This is when I go to Minerva because the range is so large. Um, and I know I can pay for it to be shipped really quickly. So we did, and we have this beautiful velvety jersey. I'll put the description down below. It was, it's a beautiful fabric. It's really soft, it's stretchy, it's very opaque. It's, it's very slippy, that's all I can say. It is, because um, it's got like a um, man-made backing on the top but it's very slippy when you put it on the cutting table it slipped off the cutting table when you put it on the machine it slipped off under the overlocker slipped off <laughs> but I have to say it feels beautiful and my daughter tried the dress on yesterday as I'm filming this I haven't got it to show you I have got a photo because I'm still waiting for her to do a final finish but hopefully by the time this video goes out I'll have a photo of her in it for you but yeah, super stretchy. And as you can see, I've got a bit left over. So I really hope I can just run up a quick top. There's only enough for a top for me for next week. But back to the dress. Yeah, I've used this dress pattern several times. I've made the straight version. I've made the flared version, the one with the long sleeves. It's a faux wrap dress, which is just perfect. And you can kind of tweak this bit, um, the crossover, so it's not that low. Now, I started off making this version for her with the longer sleeves, um, but she did say it was a bit mumsy. So I then I chopped off two inches off the bottom hem and I reverted the sleeves, chopped the sleeves and reverted them back to a uh, short sleeve. So I hope she's finished with a final version. Now I've made this pattern a few times and the strange thing is you're meant to put um, some elastic in the back, um, sorry, of the waistband. You don't, you don't really need it because you've got the belt, you can cinch it in anyway. So I've always thought that was a bit superfluous, but yeah, so I'll show you a picture of it. Um, the first, the mumsy version, and then the version I changed it to. And hopefully I've got a picture of her in at the end, but certainly next week I will, if not before. But yeah, got a little bit left over. So I hope I have time just to make myself a quick top because it's beautiful fabric. I just want to say, I know it's busy at this time of year and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. There's just so many things going on. I honestly, I'm so glad that you've just spared just a little bit of time to, to see what I've been up to in my sewing room. I'm wearing today and it's funny because I realise I'm wearing the same thing, um, same pattern as I wore last week in my video, which is Butterick 6859. I told you I've made loads of these. This was made out of a double brush poly. I've worn it multiple times on my channel, but I just absolutely love it. And my little grandson today said, oh, Nanny, I love your top, which was amazing because he's only three. <laughs> so what else have I been doing this week? Well, um, on Wednesday, I released my results of my last Fabric Wheel of Fate. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen that video. If you haven't, I had the two fabrics left over to use. I was originally only going to use that one, carry that one forward, 
I am so glad I changed my mind on that because these two garments, and especially the one that I frowned about all the way through, turned out to be my favourite garment. It's almost like the wheel knew, let's save the best till last. Um, for the black fabric, I used this pattern, New Look 6345, uh, 636435, yeah, I'm tired. Um, uh, a 2016 this pattern and it's really great. I've used it many, many times before. Um, but yeah, made this lovely uh, little black top, perfect to wear with black jeans. And for the flowery fabric, which I was really unsure of, but it's actually turned out to be my favourite garment of all six of them. I did my magic dress, New Look 6650. I call it magic dress because it cinches you in at the waist, hides tummy, and it's just very flattering. So that's gonna be my favourite dress for next summer and my holidays. So yeah, thank you for anyone that watched that and all your lovely kind comments. The wheel will definitely be returning in 2024 in a format. Now, a lot of you may know if you've watched my channel that I actually do Lutterlo patterns every now and again. Um, I'm involved in a Facebook site for Lutterlo where so many people across the world do it. It's amazing. And this YouTube sewing community is the best because I had a lovely lady called Pamela contact me and saying, I've got a spare Latalo supplement, would you like it? And I then realised that she lived in America and I said, oh, don't worry, don't worry, because it's going to cost you to post. And this lovely lady insisted and I actually received it yesterday. Now, I am absolutely thrilled because not only did she put in the Latalo supplement, she put in a couple of gifts as well. And I have to show these. Pamela, I hope you don't mind, but they are what she calls snack mats. Aren't they wonderful? What beautiful colours. The sewing is impeccable on this. Honestly, every time someone gives me a gift, when I, I just realise how bad my sewing is sometimes. But what fascinated me about this is she did some uh, free motion quilting hopefully on my new machine that I'm getting for Christmas, I will be able to have a go at doing that. So uh, honestly, uh, these are just fantastic. And I can't, my husband's been away and I haven't been able to show him. So I can't wait to show him those too. Thank you so much. She also included some nail files, which is really funny because uh, very often I've got like a catch on my nail and I'll be sewing in here and it'll catch on the fabric. And I think, oh, I haven't got time. I haven't got a nail file in here. Now I have, I've got a set of three, so I've got no excuse. So the supplement she sent me was one I didn't have. It's number 295. And she's uh, told me a couple of things that she's made for it. But um, there is uh, this, which I'm very particularly interested in. You've got a zip up hoodie, which I haven't got in any of the others. And I really like this jumpery thing here. Um, it is for knit fabric, but I like that kind of low sleeve and the split. That's really nice. I'm really thrilled about these because I think the older, this isn't particularly old, but the older supplements are the best. The ones that have come out recently have been a bit far out there for me. But thank you so much. This sewing community is the best. Still on the let alone theme, I really want to make something for Christmas for me by by Christmas, which is only next week. We're away and um, from Saturday until Wednesday, so I've really not got much time at all. It was my intention to sew this something this week for me. Um, I did run up those two fabric wheel uh, garments, but this fabric I received from Beyond the Pink Door back in April because it was a whole St. Patrick's Day theme. It's a viscous crepe, I've got it on the brain, it's a viscose uh, chalet, but it's got the gold lurex pieces in it. Now, I thought at the time, I thought it'd be better for Christmas. So I want to sew up just a top in this for um, the big day. Now, I went through my patterns and I actually have a Lutterlo pattern that I really want to try. I'm pretty sure there'll be a big fall pattern out there, very similar, but I don't have it. 
but it's got this tuck in the front and these normal sleeves and then you've got a bit of ballooning there. I might have to reduce that down because two bigger sleeves annoy me, but I would really like to have a go at making that. Um, I'm not sure if there's any closures on the back, but even if there is, I'll just, I'll do something quickly. What I will do, however, is I don't know if any of you have sewn with this type of fabric before. I made a dress out of it a couple of years ago with a neckline here. And oh my goodness, the, the lurex drove me crazy. And I actually gave the dress away in the end. But um, back in April, when I held this up and I said my concerns, a lot of you said, just pull out the uh, lurex pieces and it's very easy to do with a pair of tweezers, so I will be doing that, especially on, on any neck, any cuffs, um, or any facing. I'm quite happy to do without the gold sparkle. So oh, please let me have time next week to make this up because I think that looked quite Christmassy. I haven't bought um, much recently, I will admit, I haven't bought any fabrics or patterns, but I did get the sewing magazine the other day and in it was a uh, simplicity, must be a fairly new pattern as it's numbers so high up, 9702. Now, I think this would make a really nice summery dress. I certainly haven't seen anyone um, talk about it at all. It's got a very deep V, that's not happening. That, that's gonna be raised up. But yeah, I really like the different options there. And I know a few of you are probably like this as well, but that definitely for next summer, certainly not for now. But yeah, just thought I'd show you that one. I did have time to make just another gift this week, uh, finished off a couple of things. I made one of Adam's pouch is now, you know I've made loads of those before and I've normally made the small and the medium. This time I made the large because I wanted it a bit bigger. I was really, really pleased with it. It was for a lovely lady I know that is um, Disney mad as well so yeah I, I'll put a photo in it because she's had it now but yeah I'm really thrilled with that one so envious as always everything I make for others I get really jealous of I won't be having much time to sew as I did say we're off to Disneyland Paris on Saturday through till Wednesday so we come back Wednesday now a lot of you um, watching me do live outside the UK so I would just explain that we are going to use the Eurotunnel, um, it's now called Le Shuttle, but that runs from Folkestone in Kent straight over to France. Now we've done it a few times before, but the boys, our grandsons we're going with, have never done it. So they are so excited. So not only are they going to hopefully see Mickey Mouse and um, a bit of snow, because there's always a bit of snow on Main Street at Christmas time, and we're going to go on this train on through the tunnel to France. It's incredible. It takes it takes us three hours to drive to the Folkestone. It takes half an hour, well, thirty five minutes to get to France, and then it's another three hours drive for us then. But yeah, half an hour to get to France is madness. And even though I have done it a few times, I can never believe that I'm looking at England, and then half an hour later out the window, I'm looking at France. <laughs> it's just crazy. But yeah, um, I know it's going to be busy. I know it's going to be manic. And I know a lot of you don't like Disney, but you've got to think of the children and those children's faces are going to be crazy. They're going to be so excited. So that's a lovely Christmassy thing that we'll be doing this weekend. Last weekend, we did a Father Christmas visit on a train, little model train. We've got on a park very close to us. So I'll put in some photos of that at the end. That was that was gorgeous. It was freezing cold. Um, but yeah, it was it was great fun to do this little trip on the train in the dark. The, the boys loved it. And of course, on the Sunday, we had our whole family together. We had my son down with his little girl as well. So I was really pleased to um, we managed to get a photo of my husband and I, Chris and I, with the three grandchildren, which was very special. Now, I will say I really appreciate any of you taking time to watch my video this week because we all have so much going on and there are so many Vlogmas videos out there, which I have been thoroughly enjoying and I'm so glad I didn't um, do Vlogmas. Um, I didn't really do it last year. I'm, I certainly wouldn't do it because I just enjoy watching everybody else's and I'm just 
nowhere as interesting as any of those. So hasn't it been amazing, the time taken to not only film, but edit and put these videos out. I admire you all very much. Thank you for keeping us entertained during December. As I said, thank you for taking time to watch. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel and you're not a subscriber, I would love it. It costs nothing, um, but it'd be great to grow my channel a little bit further. Thank you, have a wonderful weekend. I hope all your Christmas plans are going well and you're getting a little bit of time to yourselves. Um, but yeah, it's, it's coming thick and fast. So I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.